Thieves. Uh, they're coming off of their match against Fnatic. Please use the Zoom hand raise function if you'd like to ask a question, and then we'll call on you. Um, Diogo from VLR, we'll start with you. Hey guys, uh, commiserations for the loss. Um, I've got a question for Stellar. How do you guys go uh, about mentally resetting after suffering a loss like you did on Bind? Um, I think we just have to remind ourselves that we need to stick to a game plan and we just kind of move on. You know, map's over, can't really do anything about it. Go next. Thank you. We'll go next to Blake from esports.gg. Hey guys, sorry to hear about the loss. Um, this question is for Asuna. Um, so I know you guys probably don't want to talk about positives right now, but uh, what are the positive takeaways for this team um, that started only in April? And uh, what is the outlook for you guys heading into 2023? Uh, yeah, I would say, you know, it's been like five or six months with this roster. And overall, we had a pretty good growth. And I think that's like the main positive. Obviously, it sucks losing here, but at least we lost here rather than open qualifiers and playoffs or LCQ. Um, you know, we made it all the way over here. And um, I think that's like the main positive that we can take away. And also like overall, um, working with these people is pretty good. Uh, I would say the best bunch I've had out of all my other teammates. And uh, we've definitely shown a lot of improvement. And uh, this roster started a lot like lower than any other roster I started at. And um, we ended at a higher note than any of my other teams, I would say. Thank you. We'll go back to Diogo from VLR for the next question. Yeah, I've got a somewhat similar question uh, for Sean. You know, you guys are the newest roster here at Champions and you've had quite a few complications. Um, so do you think you can go back home with your head held high? Uh, which Sean? Kind yeah, me. Uh, yeah oh. Sean Gares. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, I definitely think we can go back with our heads held high. Uh, I think we should be proud of what we accomplished in such a short amount of time. I agree totally with what Peter said, right? Um, through both of those open qualifiers where we had just a couple weeks practice and we put in a lot of hard work to get here and we were always against the gun with prep and the team we lost to, we, we defeated earlier on in the tournament. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely proud of what we accomplished. Heads up. We'll go next to Kobe for an upcomer. A uh, question for any of the guys that are kind of new to the stage and the international events. Um, I just wanted to know how it was and whether or not you enjoy playing on land and playing in this kind of environment. That's for anyone who wants to answer. Who's got that? Uh, got I that. mean, okay. I can, sure. Uh, that was my first time playing on the international stage. Uh, it's definitely fun being able to, you know, see your opponents and be able to trash talk to each other. And, um, I do think there was some complications with the stage, but overall, um, it was still a fun experience and being able to at least get that land experience is definitely going to propel us forward for the players that, um, haven't played on the stage yet. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other questions for 100 Thieves? Gentlemen, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. This will conclude the first press conference of this match. We'll be right back with Fnatic.
Hey, everybody. We are joined by Fnatic, who are coming off of a victory against the 100 Thieves and qualifying into the playoff stage. Uh, please use the Zoom hand raise function if you'd like to ask a question, and then we'll call on you. We'll begin with Diogo Santos from BLR. Hey, guys. Congratulations on the win. Uh, I got a question for Boaster. What do you think changed uh, between your opening game against 100 Thieves and today's game? Um, the difference between the opening game and today's game is we got a win under our belt. Uh, the previous tournament, obviously, we came from FPX, which was a loss. And then we played the first time and we had the jitters. And then we got the win from Furia and then momentum is building, I guess. Uh, we we started developing a new winner's mindset and we just started to trust each other, play with confidence and communicate, relax as well. And today was a really good showing from everyone, I think. I, th I think um, obviously some mistakes, but uh, overall uh, we kept our cool and we played pretty cool too. Thank you. We'll go next to Blake at esports.gg. Hey guys, congrats on the win. Uh, this question is also for Boaster. Um, whose idea was it to uh, print out those justice for Eccles signs? <laughs> Whose idea was it? Was it Mystics? Yeah, it was Mystics. Shout out to Kojo as well. Because <clears throat> we had an idea back in the day. And then, um, yeah, then th this idea arose. And, uh, yeah, Mystic and Kojo, our manager, kind of got that 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 sorted. And then it was like, yeah, it's an easy one. You know, you just hold on a piece of paper. Like, <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> we'll take the easy ones. <laughs> uh, great. We'll go next to Kobe from Upcomer. Uh, question for Alfair. I just wanted to know how you're feeling about the prospect of playing in front of Turkish fans. It is good. Uh, we go playoffs. It's good for us. And uh, we have a lot of Turkish fans on the Turkey uh, because I'm the solo Turkish. And uh, he will be good because they're going to hype and they're going to be all the time uh, screaming like Fnatic because I'm the Fnatic. It's going to be good. Team is going to be really well because of this, I guess. And also my family is here and they're gonna boost me. And if if I finish 300 ACS, I'm gonna be do 400 right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, we'll go to BFTV Bora. Uh, the question is going to be in Turkish, but I'm going to be also talking English because uh, this is the first time a Turkish question uh, to Alfa Jer. Uh, Emir selamlar Bora abim ben. E, maçlarda normalde bir tezahürat stili vardır ve her zaman böyle şarkılar sözler söylemeyi severiz. Senin nickname'inde bir at yarışından geliyor. Bize öyle anlatmıştın. Acaba Alfa Jer'i nasıl bir şekilde şarkıların içinde koymamız lazım? Biz seyirciler olarak hazırlanacağız. Böyle bir şey bekliyor musun? Bir Meksika dalgasıyla kendi isminin söylenmesini bekliyor musun? Hypelardığından da bahsettin. Bununla ilgili konuşabilir misin? I'm translating just in English. Uh, the question is his nickname is coming from a horse race uh, uh, figure and it's really incredible. So that's why uh, in Turkey there's a huge uh, fun uh, ecosystem. Maybe they are chanting a special song for him. I guess uh, I ask which one is going to be or what do you expect with Mexican wave or something like that? Abi vallahi açıkça söylemek gerekirse e, Alfajer diye bağıracaklarını, Fatih diye bağıracaklarını bekliyorum ama bu Meksika dalgası veya herhangi bir müzik beklemiyorum. Ama olur da herhangi bir böyle bir şey olursa tabii ki bu hem beni hype'lar hem takımı hype'lar. Ee, bir şarkı olursa da fena olmaz aslında. <gülüyor> Güzel olur. Çok teşekkürler. Uh, I'm translating also in English. If you want, uh, if there is going to be a song, it will be great. And as the community, we are finding a song maybe for him to chant out over there. Thank you very much. Thank you. I what, never realized. What, what does that mean? Well, for you, what does your name mean? What's your name mean? Uh, My name is uh, Arabic horse. Arabic no, horse. No wonder he only yes. knows how to hold W. <laughs> <laughs> Neon. Neon. I'm a horse. <laughs> Ferrari. Uh, we'll go next to Diogo from VLR. Uh, yeah, I've got uh, a question for Durka. It's the first time we've seen you on chat since March. Is that just a result of the chamber nerves or is there something else there? Uh, I think it just felt easier to play on the sand and also I think because our chamber didn't work out on the sand that much, we 
try to switch the comp a bit and put me on jet and have a kill joy instead of chamber. So I think being working pretty well. We'll go next to Whoa. nice Kobe Zucker from Upcomer. Uh, this question's for Mini. Um, basically, every EMEA team qualified for playoffs at this event. So I was just wondering what you think about the state of the region kind of relative to the rest of the international competition. Um, I mean, I think it's like every event and we do really good every event. Like, has there been an event so far that we've actually done bad at? Iceland. Iceland. But that was... Yeah, but we had... FPX couldn't go and we had half a team. So the only event we done badly at was FPX couldn't go and we had half a team. Like, and I think it's kind of like there's an obvious statement that EU has the most depth. Um, it doesn't mean we're necessarily the best at the top, even though I would probably argue that, but we have the best depth. Like, you send the 10th, the 10th, the 10th? 10th best like team of any region to EU and they're probably not the 10th best in EU you know like we just have really good teams here thank you we'll go next to Mustafa from Esport Gazetsi selamlar benim sorum Alfajar olacak öncelikle galibiyetini kutlarım daha önce One Under Thieves ekibine karşı oynadığınız maçta mağlup olmuştunuz. Seyircinin önünde oynamak için bu revanş karşılaşmasını kazanmanız gerekiyordu. Bu durum sana ekstra bir motivasyon sağladı mı? Ya abi tabii ki zaten biz kaybettikten sonra bizim e, Furya maçını yenmemizle beraber o zaten ekstra motivasyon oldu bize. E, playoff'lara çıkacağımızı, hani playoff'a çıkma maçını oynayacağımızda yani playoff'a çıkmamız gerektiğini düşündüm. Çünkü tek Türk oyuncu olarak ve bütün arkadaşlarım ve bütün Türkler genel olarak maçı izlemeye geleceği için yenmek istiyorduk. Bu bizde ekstra hype oluşturdu, ekstra motivasyon oluşturdu ve daha rahat ve relax bir şekilde oynamamızı sağladı. Ee, yani sağladı. Teşekkürler. Uh, we'll go next to BFTV board. Did you have another question? I think no, right. thank you. No, thank you. We'll go back to Diogo from BLR. I've got one more question for Boaster. You are one, uh, you know, Fnatic is one of only two squads that's appearing at Champions Playoffs for the second time. Uh, do you think you guys have a better chance this year? <clears throat> yeah, definitely. I think, obviously, um, I said to the boys today, whoever wins this game wins champions. And I, I kind of mean it. Uh, I think we've been showing really get great uh, uh, pro progression with our kind of sc uh, in scrims and like, uh, we might have had a rough start and we might have not looked uh, on top business versus Furia, but those things are getting ironed out and uh, worked on uh, on the daily. There's no there's no days off here. So I just think uh, everyone after this win will really feel invigorated. And I just believe that we know how to win now and we know how to take enemies by the throat and uh uh and really go for that win and really hunt for that win so i think that's a sort of a hunger and a sort of uh mental attitude that we've not shown at the previous events and it's kind of similar to what we were showing offline at emea so i just think now the ball is in our court and we're going to be playing with it we have a basketball player here and he knows how to shoot and dunk and uh all of us will be setting him up i guess because uh I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking good. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I think that might have been the last question. Um, Fanatic, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Congratulations on your victory, and we'll see you back here in another day or two. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.